Hey, so in this video, I'm talking about the ExpressVPN mobile application for Android. And if you wanted to learn more about the ExpressVPN desktop app for either Mac or PC, you'll find the link to a video about that in the description down below, plus some discount links that will save you some extra money if you do want to try any of these out. Now, in case you're not familiar with how a VPN works, a VPN basically keeps your data safe by encrypting all the information that you send out over the internet and also hides your location by making it seem to any website or application that you you connect to as if you're in a different country of your choosing. So let's say for example you wanted to access Netflix content or any other streaming platform content that is only available in the UK. You can go to the locations over here, click on that and here we have a list of recommended locations. We also have all locations and ExpressVPN has 105 countries to choose from and we can also search over here. So we can just type in United Kingdom and there you go we can click on that and connect and in just a few seconds, we'll be connected to a server in London. Now, if we go to any app, it will think that we're in the UK and give us access to all the streaming content that is only available there. Now, something I love about ExpressVPN that you can see here is the shortcut bar, which allows you to just quickly move over from your VPN into any other app that you want. So you can put any streaming app or banking or credit card app in the shortcut bar, and then you can easily just connect to the VPN and then move over to whatever application it is that you want to use the VPN with. Now, just to run through some of the other things going on in this app, you have the keys feature, which is a password manager. You have help, which is some support in case you have any issues and you have options. And over here, you'll find all the features that you'll also find in the desktop app, such as split tunneling, the kill switch, and being able to choose your VPN protocols. Now, one feature that you'll find on the app that you won't find in the desktop application is over here in the other settings, and it's called the app screenshots feature. And what this does is hide any information from the VPN app from showing up in any screenshots or in any other screen share software that you have going on. So, for example, if I turned it off on my phone and I did not allow the app to take screenshots, you'll see that my screen share software goes blank because now the VPN is blocking any of that information on the VPN from being sent over to my computer screen so I could just go ahead and enable that again and there you go I have my screen back up and running so that's all for me guys this is really my favorite VPN app after trying many of them I just find it to be so clean and easy to use and again if you decide you want to try it out there's a discount link in the description down below thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one